So has he become the NBA's most hated player? Um, I think we sort of know the answer to this, but I wanted to get your take on it and, and see what you think of him and um, I guess what your stance on his whole antics and his behavior on court um, is. And yeah, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Yeah. Um, Dylan Brooks, nobody, nobody likes Dylan. <laughs> like, let's be honest, no, nobody likes Dylan. No NBA players besides players on the Grizzlies like Dylan. <laughs> but personally, I don't know. I secretly kind of love Dylan Brooks. <laughs> like, it sounds bad. It's, it's no, nah, no, nah, maybe nah, I don't love him. But I think he's gr- it. I think he's great for the NBA. Um, I like how he kind of plays that villain role. I guess mm. now he does way too much. Don't get me wrong. Like some of the antics, I think are just like. They are, some of them, like, let's be honest, they are pretty funny, but to an extent, it's like, sometimes I'm watching the Grizzlies play, and I'm like, can this guy just play the game? Like, can you just play basketball instead of, you know, running around, going 0 for 6 from 3, and just, like, locking up Paul George for one play, literally one possession and talking shit. Like, (laughs) to me, that makes zero sense, but I think it's pretty funny, like, some of the quotes he kind of says, they, they do make me laugh. Like the one with Draymond where it's like, your podcast is cute or whatever. He thought that was a good insult. And then you got the, the Russell Westbrook um, going up to the Memphis bench today. I thought that was hilarious. Like Russ doing Russ things. Like I don't even know what he was saying, but you can get a mm. gist that he's going like, oh, why are you talking now? Or whatever mm. um, he would be saying along those lines. Yeah, I think it's great for the game. And then the whole Clay Thompson thing where he's holding the five rings like yeah it's entertaining i'm not gonna lie so dylan brooks being a villain it's good for the nba it's honestly funny i think and come playoff time oh it's getting me pumped just talking about dylan brooks and the playoffs and i would never have thought because it's not like he's a star in the mm. league like this guy's the equivalent of like deshaun stevenson or something <laughs> but it, yeah i don't know memphis i don't love him but I look forward to watching them, and I look forward to watching Jar, Dylan Brooks, and the Memphis squad. 100%. Yeah, just touching on that, I think, you know, in every good movie or any good, you know, storyline, there's always a villain, and someone has to play that role, and I think without it, you don't really get that that uh, excitement factor out of that movie you're watching or that book you're reading or, uh, you know, that, that TV show you're, you're tuned into. And obviously the script writers of the NBA have done an amazing job. <laughs> They've uh, provided <laughs> Dylan Brooks. He's, he, he was cast successfully as the villain. And, it's uh, so good. It's so good. <laughs> no, I really enjoy it, honestly. Like, uh, as much as I hate him, and I, you know, I, I hate when guys who are sort of average players talk a lot of shit Especially Draymond Green. I know he's justified. He's one defensive player of the year. And, you know, he's he's yeah, been a he does talk part way. of that whole uh, dynasty that the Warriors put forward. But a guy like him, like, you shouldn't be talking shit to guys that are, like, <laughs> 10 times the ball player you are. I know the value that Draymond provides. And it's not all about scoring. It's not all about doing the X, Y, and Z on the court. But sometimes there's a ton of... Yeah, what you mean. Yeah. And the funny thing is, going back to that whole thing about how he mentioned, you know, you know that podcast, you know, he's, you know, all he does is talk on his <laughs> podcast, whatever it was. It's funny because in the pre-draft, when they asked him who he would like to be, yeah, I he said he wanted to be a Dylan, uh, sorry, a like Draymond, Draymond Green type player. So it's like you're kind of contradicting yourself. You're bagging out Draymond, but then you kind of yeah, you he said, planned it. Yeah, uh, he probably had it in his head the whole time, like that. That was you know something that it would he would come back <laughs> it's to. A screw. But the crazy thing about Dylan Brooks is he's lost two hundred forty-eight thousand two hundred forty-two dollars this year in fines alone. <laughs> Um, he pushed the cameraman over, which resulted in one of those fines. You know, he talks a lot of shit on the bench. Um, and you know what he said about losing all that money to the fines? He goes, it's just paper. Like, that you can't... You, you, <laughs> he just some of the idiotic stuff that he has to say, like, don't get me wrong, like I said, I think it really adds um, excitement to the league. Yeah. But I think you see a lot of... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dylan Brooks, obviously. Um, but what I, I think enjoy about the whole persona that Dylan Brooks... Um, puts forward is the fact that you know it's it takes away or it like it's a lot different to how the NBA is at the moment with you know these guys being like it's like a brotherhood you know everyone after the games all hugging yeah, each yeah. other dapping each other up and all this sort of stuff it's like you know what yeah. you need a guy like that to kind of say like 
no, I don't want to be bros with you. I don't want to be your homie outside the court. Uh, my yeah. homies are, are, are my 15 men, 15 uh, men on this yeah. squad, on the Grizzly squad. And everyone else yeah. I don't see as like as someone that I want to uh, partake in, the, you know, having that brotherhood. You know what I mean? We're out here to fight. We're out here to win for yeah, championships. Yeah. So I, I can respect him on that level. And I know I like the competitive side of him. But I think, you know, it's hard to say that he's not the most hated player at the moment. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Come play. No. I'm really excited to see the, um, the matchups and all the shit talking continue. Yeah. No, nah, just touched on that real quick. Um, you mentioned like, my brothers are my 15 man, not the opposition type thing. The thing is, like, as I don't want to protect Dylan Brooks, but you got guys like, you know, Charles Barkley, um, I don't know, Isaiah Thomas, Shaq, mm. whoever it is, kind of talking about Dylan Brooks and his antics and that. But back when they played, like, yeah. you can't tell me it probably wasn't the same. Like, you got dudes like, I'm sure the bad boy Pistons yeah. weren't, you know, buddy buddy with the Chicago Bulls. Like, I can't, yeah, I, I do rate that, and I don't think that necessarily players in the 80s, uh, maybe even 90s even, should be kind of commenting on, like, how he, what he said about LeBron or mm. whatever. Like, at the end of the day, no hard feelings. Like, um, like, obviously he said what he said. It's probably, it's not right, not necessarily justified, but, like, he's just there to stir the pot, really. Like, he... he yeah, I don't know. He obviously doesn't have the best intent at all times, but I don't think he's the worst. Mm. Um, I think I don't think he'd be the worst. Player. I think Isaiah Thomas, like, if he said anything, like, I didn't hear the comments, so I can't. I don't want to go into detail about it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I just. I just named Yeah, yeah. Like, but even like Isaiah guys like you know, you see like it. how petty Isaiah Thomas was when he shake Jordan's hand. I know yeah. I know they have like exactly. bigger beef than just obviously on court stuff. I get that. It's like off court as well. But like him not shaking the hands of guys after they got eliminated, like, you know, you can't say that these old timers um, don't want to see this kind of stuff because that's literally what their whole NBA yeah, was about, you know what I mean? And Bro, they asked for it. Hundred percent. They literally want it. Yeah, they asked for this. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's just yeah, 